After you've downloaded Drive Focus from the Google Play Store, click on the icon. You'll need to sign up the first time you come in, so you'll hit the sign up button here. And then you'll put in your information, such as your first and last name, the country and state or province, and then look into our privacy policy and make sure that you agree to the terms. So after you've filled in your information and checked the privacy policy, hit the big orange button that says sign up. Check your email for verification. The first time you use Drive Focus, you'll be automatically brought into the training section. There'll be a video that's playing that's giving you some general information about the purpose of Drive Focus to look for the 11 critical items. And then there's also some additional information that will be reiterated multiple times through the training section, but important for you to review. There's 11 critical items that you should notice on the roadway. These icons represent each one of those critical items. Click on one and get some more information. It's important to read the details. For example, you'll be clicking on traffic lights each time the color changes while watching the videos. But it'll be important to know which traffic lights that you will be clicking on, and this gives you additional information. After you're finished going through the 11 critical items, make sure to check out the priorities. In this section, you'll review a number of videos that teaches you what is the most critical of all critical items. You're always gonna to touch on the most critical item first. When you're done the training and you want to practice your skills in the tour sections or in the actual video drives, there's two ways to do that. You can either click the button tours up here or go to the back arrow. And any time while you're practicing the tours, if you want to go back to the training for more clarification, you can click on training. Once you're in the tour section, Note that there's practice drives that you should start off with so you can become familiar with how the app works. But after that, you can begin to select a variety of drives in different locations. There's also information about upcoming tours, such as Ireland, Fire and Rescue, and Brisbane, Australia. If we click on practice drives, what you'll notice here is that you will click, you'll click on the the first practice drive and unlike the other drives, the practice drives tells you which critical items to notice and look for. Once it's flashing, it's telling you which ones to click in priority. So the red circles are higher priority than the yellow. When your drive is complete, you'll get a score total score was 833. There are a possible 1,000 points. No one is ever expected to get 1,000 points on any drive, but you need a score of 500 or higher to advance to the next level of drives. When you're finished with the practice drives, go ahead and hit the back arrow where you can select from another drive in a location. I think I'd like to try California, Southern California. So I'm gonna click on this. And what you'll notice is, is that the two level one drives are open, but the level two and level three drives are not. You're gonna start with your level one drive here and click on this. And then you can begin clicking on the critical items in order of priority. While you're playing on the drive, you can notice that there's the critical items are listed there as far as the number of critical items and then how many there, um, how many you've got selected. 
Now I wanna show you that you can always pause the video if you need to. And it's important to notice that you can also reduce the speed. The option is 100%, which is what we're traveling right now. But if the video is going too fast, I can slow it down to 80 or 60%. So for example, I can move this down to 60%, which will slow things down for me to make it easier for me to notice. But do know that those reduction of score, slowing the speed will reduce your overall score. You can also increase the volume or lower the volume. So when I finish the drive, I'll end up with a total score. And again, my score was slightly reduced because I had reduced the speed for a period of time. So this gives me information on my total points out of a possible thousand. But that means that I more than likely missed some critical items. So in order to find out what those critical items are and how fast I managed to find them, I'll go into my score details. With the score details, I can look to see if I got all of the particular critical items. So out of the possible 19 warning and caution signs, I actually found 19 of them. However, I didn't get them all in the correct priority. So let's take a look and figure out what, I'm, what I didn't get in the right priority. So if I scroll down here and I'm looking for the whys, tell me that yes, I got it in the right priority but there's two that I did not. So let's take a look at that scene. We can go back here, click on this, and it'll bring me back to that. It must have been the fact that the brake lights came on before the, and I should have hit those before I hit the yellow caution signs. So if I opt to go back and play that video again, I'll be able to see that. Now, I'll continue to scroll down here and look for other things. So, it looks like I missed a vehicle entering from the driver's path altogether. There was one in the video and I didn't see any. So let's see if we can find that. Vehicle entering path of driver from left. Uh, I missed that truck entering from the left. When you get a score of higher than 500, it'll tell you that the drive is completed and the next level is unlocked. So if you want to continue with that you, and go to the next level, hit continue, or you can hit retry drive. If you hit continue, it says this drive isn't downloaded. You'll, you, do you want to download it now? And I do, so I'm gonna hit download. Take a look at the settings section too. So the app sounds are the sounds that happen on the roadway that are part of the video films. The feedback sounds are the chimes, the bonks, and other sounds that give you information about the critical items. You can also check on this critical item marking, which we'll, talk, we'll show an image of in a minute. But the critical item marking is sort of an extra way of helping you find the critical items. If you check on that, it will reduce your score. You can also share your results with a driving school instructor or a therapist by putting in their email address. If you add them, they'll be able to use our web-based uh, data analytics to actually further analyze your score. So the, we've put on the critical item markings, which has got the little dots down here that tell you that there's a critical item about to appear. So for example, here, it's telling us that the speed limit sign is there. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you out on the roadway.